you also have, let's, let's go to the, uh, of course, the ad the Hillary Clinton campaign put out dealing with Mike Pence. Uh, Gianna, it's a little hard when you're in a debate. When you sit there and shake your head and you say no, and you say no, he didn't say that, and they're kind of like, press play, press play, press play. He straight lied. Mike Pence straight lied in denying all of those things he said, Donald Trump said, and then they said, no, 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 it didn't happen. Ball don't lie. You say ball don't lie? Right. You, you are black from Chicago, right? <laughs> I mean, so there's a, phrase, there's a phrase in sports. I've never and, heard that, and I listen to all oh, kind of trap oh music. God. I've never heard ball don't lie. Oh, 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 my God. How many brothers in here have played sports, and y'all ever heard the phrase? Uh, uh, it, it, raise your hand if you're in the studio, you heard ball don't lie. <laughs> Look, even, <laughs> even all the white guys behind the camera know ball don't lie. <laughs> your, your, your black card right now is in serious review status. It reviews that. <laughs> yes. So my Mike Pence, I think, did a tremendous job. CNN polls showed that he won the debate, and I think many folks can agree, especially conservatives like myself, that Mike Pence did a tremendous job. Gianno, he lied. Gianno, he lied. So, talking about conservative principles, and I think he didn't defend a number of Donald Trump's con no, no, actually, controversial he lied. Not remarks. Defend, he lied. He, he said, didn't. he said, you are wrong. Matter of fact, uh, Shelly, uh, uh, Shelly's not here. Hit play, please. Hit play. Play that. Play the video Mike again. Mike Pence did an incredible job, and I'm getting a lot of credit because that's really my first so-called choice. That was my first hire. All right, play the Hillary ad for Gianna. I think he missed it. So, so, <laughs> so play the Hillary ad of Mike Pence lying. Y'all cue that up, please, uh, because I want I need Gianna to respond. Let's start with not praising Vladimir Putin as a great leader. Donald Trump and Mike Pence have said he's a great leader. And Donald Trump has no, been... we have has Putin's been a very strong leader for Russia. Vladimir Putin has been a stronger leader in his country than Barack Obama has been in this country. Donald Trump, on the other hand, didn't know that Russia had invaded the Crimea. Oh, that's he, he, He's not going to go into Ukraine. All right, you can mark it down, you can put it down, you can take it anywhere well, you want. there, isn't he? Donald Trump has said it. Deportation force. They want to go house to house school to school, business to business, and kick out 16 million people. And I cannot believe you're going to have a deportation force. Donald Trump and I would never support legislation that punished women. Should the woman be punished for having an abortion? There has to be some form of punishment. More Don't nations put, should get nuclear weapons. Don't put try to defend that. Mouth. Well, he never said that. Wouldn't you rather, in a certain sense, have Japan have nuclear weapons? Saudi Arabia we nuclear have weapons? Saudi Arabia, absolutely. Donald Trump said keep them out if they're Muslim. Mike Pence put absolutely. a program in place to keep total and complete shutdown of Muslims. He is asking everybody to vote for somebody that he cannot defend. <laughs> that that look is a question. Is that another black uh, thing I should realize? I'm waiting on you to respond to all them lies. Well, I mean, he, clearly in this case, um, he wasn't completely forthright, I guess you could say. I mean, that that's just a matter of fact per the ad. However, when we look at the full picture <laughs> and scope of that entire debate of this entire election cycle, we've seen <laughs> Hillary Clinton lie after lie after lie for 16 months and the FBI proved that in the investigation on a number of fronts. So I don't think him shaking his head and saying, no, he didn't say that is going to be something that's going to move a lot of voters in the direction of Hillary Clinton. I think it's different context though, Roland. If we're talking about people who have been lying, there's lies on both sides of the ticket. When we talk about a vice president going into a debate to defend their president person and to also defend their stances on what these issues, these important issues have been, it's a little, uh, it's laughable to me, but it's a little uh, hard for me to either see Mike Pence lie about it or just play ignorant to what he knows that his candidate partner in the ticket has been saying and not been saying to the elections. And so when you come to this, you see that the ad has been happening and the ad is saying, well, he didn't say that. Absolutely not. We never said that. We didn't say that. When he himself has said it, Pence and Donald Trump has said it. And it's hard because it's like, do you realize the ticket that you signed up for? Do you know who you're supporting? Do you realize who you partnered with? Because you're not def you're not doing a really good job of defending that person and or um, how is the audience responding that's in the room? Because when we see Donald Trump come on debates mm -hmm. and the audience is responding, they shouting, hoorah, yeah, go ahead, get it. But when Pence does it, the audience was a little quiet in those ads. Well, that, but, it was uh, a no, 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 they were admonished to not to talk. Christian, yeah. isn't a lie a lie a lie? 
A lie is a lie is a lie. And the Lions family says we need to go out and vote. The Lions um, family, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's November. So right now, I think, you know, people need to be looking up registration deadlines in their state, making sure that they're taking every step in their power to exercise the right to vote this November. Mm -hmm. So, Roland, question for you. How many times have you called Hillary Clinton a liar? On One your time, when she lied. If she sat in the debate and lied, I call her that. Okay. Because yeah. she's lied multiple, no, on if, multiple if, occasions. If she sat in the debate, outside if she of little, sat, if she outside sat, of a debate, if she sat in the debate, Congress, she if lied. she sat in the debate and yeah. stood there and shook her head, but you also talked to the same brother who went on MSNBC, who went on Fox News, who did on this show when it came to her in the email, and like, cut the nonsense, take the L, you did it, and uh, move on. You're Don't sit here trying to explain it. That's also exactly what I said. Yes, in North Carolina, you're also in NABJ. Mm -hmm. Again, game recognized game. You know that phrase? Yeah, I know that. Okay, also, ball don't lie. <laughs> and bottom line is, your boy lied, he got busted, that's when they drop kicked his behind with that ad. But he still all, won the debate. Uh, hold on, hold on. He hold still on. Here's won. The deal. And guess what? All new polling comes out in Quinnipiac poll. She's mm -hmm. up four points in Ohio, four points in North Carolina, two points in Ohio, six, uh, ten points in so Pennsylvania. Are, you, are we talking no, about no, no, likely no, voters? No, are no, we talking no, no, about a four-way no, no. race? What, no, no. What I'm, what I'm saying is this here. Or head to head. What I'm saying is this here, Gianno. Gianno, what I'm saying is this here. Don't go into debates lying when all they can do is press play. Because if you do it here, you gonna get busted too. And she did it. She did ball, it in the debate with Donald ball, Trump. She lied. Don't lie. Yeah. Your black card, I got it right here. You, you got might it. get okay. it back. <laughs> Kickstart your day at seven and get the news you need from the perspective you want. News One Now with Roland Martin every weekday morning at seven on TV One.